What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness. Smart, sustainable, and functional approach to martial arts and fitness for uh, older guys, busier guys uh, like myself. So today, what I want to talk to you guys about is why Aikido actually does work. Now, I know you guys are surprised because most videos you'll find on YouTube will tell you how basically Aikido is bullshit. Now, here's the thing, it's not bullshit. It's just that it's not adapted to modern combat, modern hand-to-hand -hand combat, okay? So let me explain. Aikido comes from Japanese Jiu-Jitsu. Now, Japanese Jiu-Jitsu was the martial art of the samurai, okay? And if you look back in feudal Japan, uh, how, how the samurais would fight, well, they would fight on the battlefield or off the battlefield uh, using their big ass swords, okay? So when you fight with a sword, well, what's the position, right? You hold your hands like this. You hold the sword like this. And then you come slashing down, uh, slashing diagonal, or you know, you could slash up, or you could stab the person, right? So now, the way, when you look at Aikido demonstrations, the, all the guys are standing like this. There's a reason for it. It's not because, because back in those days, Nobody cared too much about punching you or kicking you. They would just stab you because everyone walked around with fucking knives and swords, right? So if you're like this, you're on the battlefield or you're face to face with a samurai and he comes, you know, comes down like this with his sword. Well, if you're like this, you're in perfect position to like grab his wrists, you know, and, and that's what most Aikido guys do, right? They grab the wrist, they turn around, they clothesline you. Or they grab the wrist, they spin around, boom, and then they bust your, uh, they, they give a, they do a, what do you call it, a wrist lock, or a, you know, a wrist lock slash uh, elbow, shoulder lock, they bring you to the ground. And so that's the, that's the idea behind it. So these techniques were, were, were developed and came from, from uh, the martial art of the samurai. The samurais, they knew how to fucking fight. So... It's, in, it's, it's, not, it's not fair to say that it doesn't work. Aikido doesn't work. It works, but you have to put it in context. Now, if you, if you practice Aikido, then you have to be aware that it's probably only useful if the guy's holding on to, to something and attacking with you. Uh, you know, like attacking for, uh, you know, like a samurai would. And, you know, from here, straight forward, you know, or like this, you know. Because... When, when you attack with a sword, okay, or, or, or a dagger, okay, you're, you're really putting your weight, you're, you're lunging, you know, you're really committing to your attack because back in those days, like if you pull out your sword on somebody and, and you know, you attack them, like you really have to kill the fucker because if you don't, well, he's going to kill your ass, right? So you really have to commit, you know, with that, with that, uh, with that slash, with that sword, either, you know, from... Um, Top to bottom, boom, right in, to the side, whatever, you know, but you really have to commit. So if you really commit to a move, then you're in 100%. You're like really going at them, you know? So, it, so that's where Aikido could work because if, you, if, if this is what the guy is doing, then of course you're, you're here, boom, you see it coming in, and then you, can, uh, you, could, uh, you could move to the side, get the wrist, whatever, you know, but the guy's two hands are like this. They're, they're holding on to the sword, so that's why it would work. But if you put up an Aikido guy who's only who's trained to, to do everything from here, basically to defend against the sword, and you fucking jab him, or you, you hook him, boom. I mean, he's not going to be able to do anything. So that's why I think that Aikido works. Um, it's just that it worked on guys with swords, right? And um, it's not adapted for hand-to-hand -hand combat. Modern, modern hand-to-hand -hand combat. Because I seriously doubt, like, there was any in Japan anyway. Uh, there was any 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 Thai boxing or, or boxing or um, Taekwondo or anything like that in Japan. You know. So yeah, think about it. I mean. Aikido works, but if you take it out of context, it doesn't. That's all. So what's the context for Aikido? Uh, the context is fighting a, a samurai, a guy with a sword, or a guy with a big stick that's fully committed to, you know, like uh, taking off your head and, and killing you. 
So in, in that regards, it does work, but for, it's not adapted for modern hand-to-hand -hand combat. Would it work in self-defense? Well, yeah, sure. Like if it can work if, if you get if you grab the guy's wrist, right? Uh, and you do it you, you do it hard, you do it fast, and you catch the guy off guard, okay? Then it would work. But the thing is, um, the only problem with, with, with I find with um, Aikido at this point is that they don't, uh, and, and this is not just Aikido, it's, it's that they don't do any real sparring, right? So if you don't do any real sparring, um, you know, it's hard to really stay calm and, and perform the way you know how, because it's not instinctive, you know? And also, like, if they would maybe put on some fucking MMA gloves and, like, like you know, like, try to work on, add a couple of things here and there and tweak it a little bit so it's more modernized, like, man, it could, uh, there's a lot of good things in Aikido. Um, but here's the thing. They're, like, if, if they're, they're so, most people are so stuck in the way things were done uh, for, for a very long time and they just don't want to change. So if you don't want to change, then you have to accept that Aikido only works against a guy with, um, uh, with a big ass sword, okay? Uh, and, and, not just that, but it would only work if you're able to execute when a real dude is trying to really cut your head off with a sword. I mean, that's not the same thing as being in a, in a dojo, all safe with your buddies and you know that he's gonna do it a certain way, you know, so that's just my two cents on it. But hey, I would love to practice Aikido. It's just that at this point, um, I just don't have enough time. So I'm really focused on, on uh, Judo, uh, getting my black belt in Judo, doing a lot of competitions and stuff like that. But I mean, if you, let's say, let's say later on I, get, I have a lot of spare time and I did what I wanted to do I, uh, in, in Judo and in grappling, then um, I would be definitely be open to actually learning Aikido because the principles, they work. You just gotta know how to tweak it. And if you have a background uh, in, in any other uh, combat sport where you're, you know, you're highly specialized, you're very athletic, you're very strong, you have good fight IQ, you have good reaction time, you have sparring experience, like a lot of, you could take a lot of, you could, you could learn a lot from Aikido and um, you could make shit happen, definitely. So that's it for uh, this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe, and um, don't forget to turn on the notification uh, bell so you get uh, the next video. And um, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.